Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the sweep, extrude, combine, fillet. So open your Fusion and let's go. Go to create a sketch and select the top plane. Select the arc, center point arc. Click here in the midpoint. The radius here is 50 millimeters. Make an arc here. Go to constraints and select horizontal vertical. Select this point and the midpoint. This point and the midpoint. And press OK. Finish the sketch. Now go to create a sketch and select the front plane. And here go to create, project include, project. Select this point here and press OK. You can hide the sketch one a little bit. Go to two point rectangle, select the center rectangle. Make a rectangle here, six millimeters by eight. Go to sketch mention. The distance between the center of this rectangle and this point here is 15 millimeters. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point here and the midpoint. Now go to fillet. Make a fillet here with 1.25 millimeters. And another fillet here with 1.25 millimeters. And go to circle. Click here at this point. Make a circle here with 3 millimeters of geometer. And make another circle here with 3 millimeters of geometer. And here go to modify. And select break. Select this arc here. This line. This line here and this arc. Now select this break line here and transform this in construction line. We have this profile. Now go to create and select a circular pattern. The object is this sketch here and the center point is this point. The quantity is four and distribution full. Press OK. We made this. OK. Finish the sketch. Show the sketch one. Now go to create and select sweep. The profile is this profile here, the sketch two. And the path is the sketch one. And the twist angle here, minus 405 degrees. Operation new body, press OK. We made this, OK. Now I will hide these bodies a little bit. Show the sketch one and go to create and select the front plane. Go to create again, select the project included, select this point here and press OK. Hide the sketch one. Go to two point rectangle, select the center rectangle, click here at this point, make a rectangle here 26 millimeters by 2 millimeters. And make another rectangle here in the same point but two millimeters by 26. Okay, we made this. Now finish the sketch. Go to create and select sweep. Select this rectangle. Show the sketch one. The path is the sketch one. Select only one rectangle, okay? And the twist angle, minus 405 degrees. Operation new body, press OK. Now show the sketch 3 again. I will hide the body 5. Select the other rectangle. Sweep and select the other rectangle. Make the same thing. The path, the sketch 1. And the twist angle, minus 405 degrees. And press OK. We made this. OK. Let me hide these bodies a little bit. Now show the sketch 1 and go to create a sketch and select the front plane. Go to project include, select this point here. Press OK. Select a circle. 
click at this point, make a circle here with 30 millimeters of diameter. And finish the sketch. Go to Extract, select this profile. The distance here, one millimeters. Operation New Body, press OK. We made this, OK. Now, show the body five. And here, go to Circular Pattern. Select this body here. The axis, select this one. The distribution, select partial. The angle, 108 degrees. And the quantity here is 30 and press OK. And here we will select from the body 7 to the body 36. So click here and the body 7, hold shift in the keyboard and select the body 36. OK. Now go to combine the target body, select the body 5 and the two bodies. Selected the body seven from the body seven to the body 36. Okay. The operation select intersect and select the new component here and press OK. We made this, hide the body five. We have this component. Okay. Now go to fillet, select all this body here. The fillet here is 0 0.5 millimeters and press OK. Now hide the component one, show the sketch one and go to construct, select a plane along path, select this path here. The distance type, select physical and the distance here 3 millimeters and press OK. Now go to create a sketch and select this new plane and hide the sketch one. Go to circle, click here at the midpoint, make a circle here with 30 millimeters and press OK. Finish the sketch. Go to extrude and extrude this one millimeters. Operation new body and press OK. We made this, OK. Now go to circular pattern, the object type, select the bodies, the bodies is this one, and the axis, select this axis here. The quantity is 30, and distribution partial, 180 degrees, and press OK. We made this, OK. Now show the body six, and go to combine, and the target body is the body six and the two bodies is the other bodies here. Select the body 37, hold the shift in the keyboard, select the last body here. The operation intersect, new component and press OK. Hide the body six. We have this, OK. Go to fillet, select all this component here. And the fillet here is 0 0.5 millimeters. And press OK. Now show the component one, component two, and show the body one, two, three, and four. Now go to combine. The operation is join the target body, select the body one. And the two bodies, select the other body here in the component one and two. Select the new component and press OK. Hide the body one, the component one and the component two. We made this, OK. You can paint this if you want, okay, no problem. I will paint this with black color. One black and another red, okay. And now 
we'll go to coop and move and coop and copy the selection select the component tree so select the component here component tree and here select rotate and the axis so the origin here the axis selected this axis here and select create a copy and rotate this 180 degrees and press ok we made this and here we finish your exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next video bye bye